I'm Alan Edwards. I'm of counsel to Kunzler, Nita, Massey, and Thorpe, known as Kunzler IP, and I'm here to talk to you about domain name registration and disputes. So here's the situation. You have a, you have a business that you're getting together and you want to get a web presence, and uh, so you want to register a domain name in that name. So the business is, let's say, Nuco, um, and you want Nuco.com. And so you go to one of the registrars like GoDaddy or Bluehost or whoever it may be, and you find that newco.com is available, you register it, and off you go, and everything's great. However, unfortunately, in the world that we live in today, um, most domain names have been taken. And so you go there, you find that the domain name has been taken. Uh, and sometimes, very often, it's taken by a legitimate company that's doing its own thing, um, and you've got a couple of options there. One is, change your name. Uh, another is, uh, get newco.net, or biz or newco.tv or whatever it might be. Um, if, however, uh, the, the person owning the domain name is not legitimate, uh, they're a cyber squatter. They're looking to get a whole lot of money from the sale of this domain name, or uh, as has often happened in the past, um, they up the ante a little bit by putting, let's say, pornography on the site, or some other objectionable content um, to make you even more likely to want to buy the name for some exorbitant price. Now, back in the early days of the internet, there, there was simply nothing you could do about this. The cyber squatters ruled, and you would just—they pretty much had you over a barrel. However, since the late 1990s, uh, you do have recourse. You can get that name from them uh, without paying these exorbitant prices through a couple of different means. Um, one is uh, the ICANN Uniform Dispute Resolution Procedure. ICANN is the international um, uh, body that's over all the registrars. What happens is when anybody registers a domain name, they, they commit to submitting to an arbitration procedure should, should someone else come and challenge their right to that domain name. So you... Um, challenge somebody's ownership of a domain name saying that they are using it non-legitimately and it should belong to you, they must submit to that. Um, the ICANN UDRP, or Uniform Dispute Resolution Procedure, is terrific. I recommend it to clients all the time, have used it many, many times with great success. What usually happens is these cyber squatters are off somewhere in the world, they're in Taiwan, they're in China, they're in the U.S., wherever they might be, and they're just some kid or whoever it is that uh, is trying to make some money off domain names, so they register a whole bunch of them. So you bring the ICANN procedure, they very often will simply not respond, they default, you get the name, everything's great. The, uh, the way it goes is you, it's all done by email. You don't have to enter a courtroom. Uh, you probably will want to hire an attorney, but you can do it yourself. Um, you do it online. Uh, you pay a fee of usually around $1,300 plus whatever an attorney might charge you, which won't, won't be a whole lot more. You prepare a complaint, um, you submit it by email to the arbitrator, and then the other, they notify the other party, and if the other party doesn't respond, you win, you get the name, you're fine. If they do respond, then the arbitrator looks at the two uh, pleadings that have been submitted, your complaint and their response, and they decide who wins. Usually it's you. Um, there are three requirements for you to win. You must, or they must, be using the name in bad faith. For example, if they're trying to get a whole bunch of, they're, they're asking $40,000 and they're not using the name, that's an evidence of bad faith. Or if they're trying to prevent you from using the name. Or even something as simple as, in one case that we had, uh, I had a client who wanted the domain name that was the same name as their company, and there was someone who had registered the domain name in, with the intent of creating a company, but they had simply taken so long to create the company, it was uh, like three years, that the arbitrator said, at this point, it's bad faith. They're not doing anything with it. They're simply neglecting it. They called that bad faith. So they must be using it in bad faith. Again, if they're a legitimate company, you can't do anything about it. It must be conf confusingly similar to your trademark, the one that you are using already. Um, and the cyber squatter must not have any legitimate rights to the name. So if those, if those three factors are satisfied, you've got your name, 
uh, for relatively cheap, usually happens from start to finish within about three months. It's terrific. As far as the law, as far as the legal world is concerned, it is cheap, it is fast, your lawyer gets a little bit of money for not a whole lot of work, he's happy, you're happy, everything's fine. Uh, the second the second procedure is going through a standard court proceeding. This takes a lot longer and is a lot more expensive. However, there are a few differences that you may want to keep in mind. We've done this a couple of times. Usually we go this route simply because the clients usually simply want the name and they want to be done with it. Here, you have the chance to get some damages. Um, you can go through a standard trademark dispute filing, uh, trademark infringement. Or, usually in this case, you can use the Anti-Cyber Squatting uh, Protection Act. Anti-Cyber Squatting Consumer Protection Act is what this is called. Similar factors that you need to prove uh, to ICANN. Um, again, it takes longer and it's more expensive. The biggest difference here, here is you can get damages. Uh, here you don't get any damages, you simply get the name. Here, uh, in this case, if, um, if the court deems it proper. It can award statutory damages of up to $100,000, which is terrific, if you get them. Uh, a little side note here, what I tell my clients, don't mess with this. Uh, it's going to be really expensive and the damages that you get probably won't make it worth it. Just do this, it'll be quick and you'll be done. And there you go.